I do it like that, it's a pain in the ass, and it's like a lot of extra work. So there's two different ways of thinking, like, hey, every show can be a new experience, but you won't get the high level production that I think this show brings, and, and a polishedness that it brings, when you curate it beforehand. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, I, there's always room for improvement in the first few shows, but like I spent so much time working on it, like it's so important to me. Obviously, it's like the, it's the live show, so people will remember. So, yeah, but yeah, it's it, and and over time too, like you start to remember. I mean, there's set lists on the stage in mm -hmm. case I forget. It's 26 songs, <laughs> but ultimately, like over time, you start to remember things. Like, oh yeah, this goes into this. This goes into that. One time, two two shows ago, I went into a song thinking, or I was waiting around, like waiting for a song to start, and they're like, no, it's you're wrong. No. You're, wrong. <laughs> You're supposed to start talking now. <laughs> and the band all has microphones on stage so that we can talk to each amongst each other on stage oh, without okay. you guys hearing. Oh, is that the in here? Like so little... those those are for all of the music okay. that I'm hearing and that you guys are hearing. I'm hearing a mix of myself and my drummer and my guitar player. I hear a, a built-in mix, but I also have a channel where I have a microphone where I can step on a pedal and talk on stage to just the band players. So I can say like, hey, like lighten up on the cymbals here, or, you know, hey, by the way, uh, what's going on with that? I can talk to them basically that you guys okay. know. But actually what it becomes is like a place for my band and I to like make fun of each other on stage. <laughs> yeah. So when I miss that song, they're like, hey Jess. Uh, <laughs> Get it together. Pay yeah. attention. Yeah. So um, you can sometimes see us talking to each other on stage and laughing at one another, but it's like a little side show that we have going on. Uh, no. Go ahead. When you were on The Masked Singer, I love that show by the way. Thanks. Um, I would like to say the second you started singing, yeah. I knew immediately that it was you. <laughs> I mean, I love uh, Kiss from a Rose, just because yeah. that was like, I grew up listening to so That was so like good. one of the first albums I ever bought when I was a kid. Like, at, you know, it was like a CD that I went into the store and bought was like my allowance money. Uh, I was like sweet, you know? So singing that was like kind of pretty full circle. Um, what else? I really liked, uh, I love the James Arthur song. I forget which one it was. That I got my I'll say, is it safe? That's not James Arthur. Something like that. Yeah, I can't think of it either. There, there's, I mean, I went through so many songs for that show, but um, yeah, I, I love Kiss from Rose. I also love the, uh, the closing song that I did on that show, which at the time was not hugely successful, and the producers were actually a little concerned that not a few people knew the song, but I just loved it so much, and I thought I could sing like the hell out of it. So I was like, oh. I was gonna What's that? What's that? I forget the name of it. The memory's invading me right now. But it was a, uh, it was like a big ballad. Anyway. I love to go to the ballad. What's that? I love to go to the ballad. Oh, thank you. Yeah, a little bit Jonas. <laughs> yeah, I was even thinking it in like in the actual mass, like the hot. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, it's yeah. awful singing. <laughs> oh my. I mean, they look amazing in the wardrobe departments. I was, I'm not claustrophobic by nature, but once they put that on me, they were like, look, they, they warned me, they're like, it doesn't matter if you're claustrophobic, you're going to feel something. And I was like, great, so thanks for putting that in my head. <laughs> and sure enough, though, as soon as they, it's the weight of everything, oh, and everything is so heavy, and they clamp everything down so intensely, and it just feels like, like a Houdini magic trick, where every time they put something, it just keeps getting clasped down even more, more Velcro, more Velcro, more buttons, more things, and it's like, how many steps before I can get out of this? <laughs> and the idea that like, you really can't get out of it on your own without somebody helping you, that scary thought. So you kind of just have to do it in stages and kind of get used to it, yeah. But anyway, it was part of breathing in that thing as it was. So, any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. So a buddy of mine um, 
that I knew in high school died in a car accident from drinking and driving. And it was a vehicle that I often would get into and drive with after school. And uh, it was just sort of like a reality, mo you know, a terrible moment that any other day it could have been a part of, you know. And everyone in the car, I believe, died. And it was just like a tragedy in our hometown. So, and he was kind of like a wild guy, but also super loved and kind of like the class clown. And everybody loved him, even though he was kind of like a loud mouth New Yorker kind of guy, you know. So, it was just based on a true story. Well, I did try to look it up that day and caught after. Yeah, I think, I, I, I think for his, I don't know that I ever revealed his name. I, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if the date was uh, totally accurate. Um, that may have just been like a songwriting liberty that I took, but um, but the tragedy was was very real. And also, just uh, sh like shook the whole community. It was a very small school. I went to my graduating class was like 147 students, so you knew everybody in every grade. Whole, whole high school was like five 500 students, which is like most of the freshman classes. Um, was the question? Sorry, I was asking you how old you were. I was a, a freshman. I yeah. Um, so the freshman, I think he was a sophomore. Um, yeah. Another question? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, what's your favorite song that you perform? Perform, I guess. Uh, it changes week by week, but <laughs> right now, um, I love playing the new music because it's just, as an artist, it's the most fun, right, to be able to play new songs. That's why you love the tour. And I love touring to see you guys and play old stuff, but you know, what's fun is playing new music. Silver Spoon is how we open this show, and I just think it sounds so good. And, uh, Make a Baby's like really hitting hard on stage, like people just love the song, and it's like kind of, it's uh, developed into its own little sort of theatrical moment on stage that's really nice. Um, but I love playing classics like Body Language and Bleeding Love, Beautiful Soul, of course, it's such a big, moment of nostalgia for so many people. So, yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff in your, we, we printed vinyls just for you guys, so if you don't want them, they're like exclusive for you. Um, and we spent a lot of time on them, so if it's cool with you guys, I'll sign that, and then we can take some selfies and some regular photos if you want. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm gonna start signing, you can ask. <laughs> M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Sorry, what were you asking? Soul, yeah. Um, I still have it. Uh, to be honest with you, I just kind of moved on. I was ready to start a new project, you know, and the timing of it wasn't really great. And there was a couple of, like, politic things that I can't really get into. I thought it and it shows yeah. Maybe, maybe we can put it on a soundtrack at some point. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. And you are? You know. What is it? You know. You know? No. I'm like, you know my name. I forget it. Sebda. What is it? Sebda. Sebda. S E V D A. Yeah. Cool. I know we've met so bit. Oh, Cameo. You uh... <laughs> look way different now. I do? Yeah. In what way? I don't know. I like COVID you. Better. You what? I like the COVID you better. You like the COVID me better? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> you like the sick version of me yeah. better? <laughs> you, mean like the, you mean like the long hair and like yeah. the, the mustache yeah. and stuff? Okay. Oh. Can I grab a picture? Who is this for? Bella. 